So today I'm going to talk about some heavily tested uh, addiction drugs. I'm not going to include alcohol and LSD because they're pretty fairly simple. Alcohol is slurred speech, it's inhibition, lack of judgment. LSD is hallucinations and flashbacks. Everybody knows those. If you don't know them, you just know them now. So I'm going to include these seven drugs and how to differentiate between all of them in an exam. The first thing to know is which of these suppress your nervous system and which of these excites your nervous system. Opioids, DHCs, benzos, suppress it. Cocaine, MDMA, PCP, and amphetamines, they, you know, stimulate the nervous system. Okay, now out of these, the next thing we're going to look at is which of these impact your eyes. In this, opioids and THC, they have something to do with the eyes. Opioids because this is a depression of the nervous system, respiratory depression, all those symptoms, opioids will actually lead to pupillary constriction. Because when you're in pain, you take opioids, and once your pain goes away, you get euphoric and your pupillary constriction happens. So that's opioids. THC, the C stands for conjunctivitis. So just remember that, conjunctivitis, THC. Benzos and Opioids both cause respiratory depression, but benzos have nothing to do with your eyes and it's going to be an old person. That's it. Now, if you go to the ones that stimulate your nervous system, you have cocaine, MDMA, PCP, and amphetamines. Cocaine and MDMA both cause pupillary dilation. Now, since this is excitatory um, drugs, they will, of course, lead to dilated pupils, excitement, psychosis, hypertension, tachycardia, all of those, you know, stimulant symptoms. But how do you differentiate between all of them? You have to know something specific to each, right? So cocaine is the first one. Now in cocaine, you have psychomotor agitation, tachycardia, dialysis, and hypertension. And in MDMA, you also have pupillary dilation, psychosis, tachycardia. But there are two specific things to MDMA that cocaine does not have. One is overheating and the other one is water intoxication. So how do you remember that? Think of this M and MDMA, the M, if you reverse the M, it's a W, so that people can remember water intoxication from the W. Second thing is the M in MDMA stands for Mordor from Lord of the Rings. So it's a really hot place so that's how you remember overheating so mdma is water intoxication and overheating and in cocaine you see somebody who's like um, a coke addict or loves cocaine they are dilated they're tachycardic they're excited they're psychotic um, i don't like to use that word i mean they have psychosis and they also have hypertension so hypertension is specific to cocaine but MDMA is a water and overheating. And what about PCP? Think of it like my primary care physician is so aggressive. He's always dancing around me trying to get me vaccinated. So that's how you will remember aggression, aggression and dancing around me with nystagmus. So they have vertical lateral nystagmus and that's your PCP. And also impossibly strong and very, very hyper and violent if you don't take your vaccine. And the last one is amphetamine. I don't have a mnemonic for amphetamines, but amphetamines causes flight of ideas. So feta, fill, flight of ideas, pressured speech. Those two are differentiating. The rest, they also have tachycardia and hypertension, nothing to do with the eyes. So this is how you can differentiate between um, most of these drugs when it comes to intoxication.